Welcome to the Grain of Salt Podcast. We're talking Godzilla Singular Point, Episode 4. I'm Hank, and with me is Ben. Aw, oh, yeah. Episode 4, pretty, I mean, technical, but also I'm really curious as to whether or not the, uh, <laughs> the translations for the rapid-fire numbers are correct. <laughs> <laughs> like, certainly the yeah. first, like, three or five or six or whatever, but... It's mm-hmm. uh, pretty spicy. I was just yeah. This actually, <laughs> I saw like a comment on the, the the episode. It was like, "Well, I'm done." Just like it's just so technical. It was like <laughs> I can't imagine that the subtitles are correct. They seem good though. I don't know. This this group's doing a good job. Yeah. I mean, like whatever. I c- for a lot of that stuff, I understood what I needed to understand. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say, but th- and I did like the note of um from the translators of like there's a part where it's just like streaming Twitter and we're not going to translate all of that. Oh yeah, yeah, because there's like one scene that's just like there's a Twitter timeline going by that's all in Japanese while people are speaking on top of it. Yeah, and they're like, look, it, it, you get the gist of it just by the dialogue. We're not gonna. That's too much. Dude. We have it's... limits. <laughs> We're human. Yeah. No, a hundred percent. And like they're it's it, they're doing I I don't think there's there's not if you hadn't told me that this is a fan translation, mm-hmm. like I, I don't even know that I would notice, honestly. Like they're doing no, um... they're doing very well. <laughs> I would notice because professional subs are a lot of times worse. I mean, yeah, that's kind of like <laughs> I've, I've, I've encountered yeah, like some pretty bad subs. Yeah, because like the people, these are people who are doing this shit because they love it. And sometimes you're getting people who are doing it and they're not paid very well. Yeah. And they're yeah. doing it because it's their job. Mm-hmm. Um, so, weirdly, that's how life works shocking you don't get paid you do better work but it's more but it's only okay if nobody's making money off you <laughs> yeah 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 hobby um so this episode is our big thing that happens it's a lot of technical stuff but like and it's just it's so technical <laughs> first it's like yeah. the the puzzle of solving the it'll make sense when you solve it or whatever yeah question uh, type nonsense and then uh she like goes about it by brute forcing it and just inputting any phrase into the thing to generate the Hash. number and yeah. uh that's a dumb way to go about it yeah just <laughs> sure looking around time. Yeah, yeah, just saying raspberry seeds. Yeah. Uh huh. Eh. Nope. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> Not the thing. What do you mean it's incorrect? And... <laughs> and it like maybe it's not even a phrase. Maybe it's a video file. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be like anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it it turns out to literally be that that phrase. Of it'll make sense once mm-hmm. you solve it. That was that was literally the answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so she figures that out. We get she forgets her luggage at the airport. It's a good joke. She's like, no, no, I travel light. <laughs> She's like, oh wait, <laughs> I just grabbed my suitcase. <laughs> and then there's another bit later where she's like. Man, where did I put the key to my suitcase? And their AI is like, "You put it in your suitcase." Yeah, and she's yeah. Like, Wait, then how could I have locked my suitcase? And the answer was, she didn't. <laughs> her suitcase was not locked. <laughs> Pretty uh, good. Jokes. It's a metaphor or parallel. To the archetype problem, I guess. I suppose parallel, yeah. Yeah. Because we get 
I, so she goes to this presentation in Dubai, and we get we we get to see like what archetype can do. It makes light get bright. It's a light bright. Well, it's a light bright. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> they shoot they shoot a laser through it, but then they like take a piece of it away and take the laser away, but the light is still trapped within the archetype and it's like isn't that amazing it traps light but not only did it trap light then the light gets more and more intense until it explodes yeah and then so that's uh... infinite energy and then she bursts out in the middle of a <laughs> presentation like why she thinks it's happening which is that it's being reflected through time so it's all that like future light is coming into the present yeah that's why it's increasing dude all of that like I don't know, like, it's it's super technical and everything, but I fucking love it, because it's just so much horse shit coming at you at once. It's from yeah. the, well, it, it can't exist in this world, but how do they find it? Well, they must have already had it, or it's from the future, or it's completed and they need to solve the, the riddle, they need to, they need, they have the yeah. answer, uh-huh. they need the riddle, or whatever. like, just all this nonsense. So I mean, good. like, you think of the bullshit dumb science in, like, those Gamera movies. That's why I love it, dude. Like, it's, exactly. I'm, I'm, like, this is the modern it. version of that same, same Yeah. Thing. Or, like, I mean, even in uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, where they download, they, like, get the power source to copy it or whatever. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm all about it. Fuck it. That's dope as hell. Like, don't, like, let's move, let's, let's move quickly on this. As long as you just keep, you could just keep throwing shit at me as long as you keep, keep it moving. I was going to say, yeah, they're talking about it, but they're talking about it fast. Yeah. (laughs) It is interesting because it's kind of like, really not a lot happens, but you know, it still feels paced well. It's, it's. Oh yeah. I, I looked down and I was like, I I expected to be like halfway through the episode and I was like, no, I like, we're almost done. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, we forgot the old man getting the award. <laughs> yes. Just standing there looking kooky as hell with his certificate or plaque or whatever. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of surprised he went through with the ceremony. Right? Yeah, Honestly. yeah. <laughs> or that there was not like a bit of him like yelling at the ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, The, there's like, and like earlier than that, there's like a, an old man scientist talking about the Rodan and the journalist dude who oh, uh, yeah. gave her like the archetype piece in the last episode, the blonde dude. Mm-hmm. He's like, do you think he's asking obviously leading questions of where he <laughs> at least suspects this is going? He's like, do you think there are going to be more of these creatures showing up? And the scientist's like, I don't see why that would happen. <laughs> He's like, uh huh. It's like they're definitely a hundred percent more of these things are gonna keep showing up. Yeah. Uh that's that's certainly gonna happen. Um well that's like we're in, in that like section we're like cutting back and forth with a dude who's like pretending he's announcing for a shopping mall tour or whatever. The guy, the dude, the 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 guy who is like, oh, there's that right. giant facility, and he's like, "We're coming to the food court now. Uh, watch out for the stairs." And he's like, yeah, 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 talking yeah. to nobody. <laughs> the giant pit. Yeah, yeah, and we had that quick cut. I, it's, we had a quick cut to like that research room or whatever with that other mm-hmm. scientist. Man, what a character design. I have never wanted to punch the shit out of someone so quickly in a in a cartoon. <laughs> like just a uh-huh. it, like I want that to be the bit. Like someone just walks in the room and punches them in their face. They're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like it was it was reflex. I, <laughs> I don't know what I honestly this has never happened to me before. <laughs> just a real wonky design. Yeah. So I hope they get um, eaten. So, yeah, so our Jet Jaguar heroes, Yun and the other guy, uh, they're out by, like, this field of, 
but one day I'll remember his name too. The, the f- field of uh, all the Rodans are just like lined up. Yeah, there's like what three thousand like, corpses hold, it's or like, something. Yeah, and they're it just like smells holding their noses because it's stinky. <laughs> uh, and then you see that uh, one of the Rodan is missing. <laughs> One of them is gone. Yeah. So they're like, do you, and do it, you come it looks back like it's life? been dragged out into the no into he's the forest or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, they also meet one of the dudes from the like the 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 dude who was in saw the Godzilla bones, like the the other dude. Yeah. Well, they they like contacted him, right? And they're like, "What the hell's up with this?" This song yeah, yeah, because they are ask playing. him why you why are you sending out the signal that's drawing in the Rodan? Yeah, and he's, and like, he's it like, "It was an accident." It's like we have no idea, like when the red light comes yeah. on or whatever. <laughs> like, we, and we show, it. and it, it shows them like in back. It cuts back to when they went to the Godzilla, like the Bones sub basement or whatever, and they find the where the machine is like being turned on or whatever to turn mm-hmm. it back off. Um, and the implication is that maybe the bones turned it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, I love that. It's uh, like, I love the, that whole bit kind of like the, how do you know about the, like fucking Austin powers or whatever? Like, how do you know about the underground bones? And like, you just told me baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, how did you know about that? I I didn't. <laughs> he yeah, didn't literally just told me. So now, so now our our heroes at least know about that. Mm-hmm. Um, sort of. And, I mean, uh, I just the guy stomping off like that doesn't bones don't have will. <laughs> just stomping off with that comment. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. So then they find the footprints. Start following them. They find a eaten corpse. Yeah, and it's like they're following something that's like as big as an elephant because mm-hmm. it's got big and but they're like, like pointy toed. Like footprints. maybe it's a maybe it's young. They're like, what do you mean young? It's this big. It's like, well, I mean, if its parents are bigger, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and the way it's it's acting. Yeah, it was hopping around like the way it's uh. Its movement was erratic. Yeah. They're like... And then they run into the reporter, blonde dude, who's also following the tracks. Um, then we get the bit with the suitcase, cutting back. Um, and then kind of just the end of the episode with... Uh, the end of the episode, I've been waiting. <laughs> the end it's, of um, these army it's, trucks it's... pull up to this overturned truck with like a giant scratch mark on it. And they're like, all right, we got to check it out. We know there's a Rodan missing. And they're like, Hey, is anybody there? And the two people hiding in the are like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the army dude's like, what? What's going on? Walks over to them. Yeah. He fucking and like, runs motherfucker. Down. And they like run away. And then the dude turns around and fucking anger is standing oh, there. Dude. And he's all like, what the fuck? And he just starts shooting it, and he's, like, super dead. Oh, yeah, that that guy is gone. <laughs> not, then the, that is not the correct response. And then our our trio hears gunfire, and reporter is like, automatic. It must be a submachine gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Man. That's, uh, that's this episode. What did you think of the design? Of what's his it's... name? Of Angerus, yeah, like this Angerus design, super spiky Angerus, super it's pretty spiky edgelordy. dude, right? <laughs> pretty edgelordy. He is not like probably. I don't want to say a zero out of ten, but maybe like a one out of ten for hugs. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful. He's not. He's not a hug. You know, <laughs> you know you're not hugging this Angerus. <laughs> I don't know that I was like hugging old Angerus either. To well, be fair. It, Sure, but like you're definitely not hugging this one. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm 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 pretty pumped. It's a good good introduction. 
I mean, really, yeah. you know, waiting on that Mothra. So yeah. if you... I also feel like they definitely opened the, the doors for, like, this is it's not like this has to be the Anguirus. There could be... Theoretically, there's a bigger parent Anguirus around, right? Yeah, yeah, Because they're, yeah. they're kind of going with a thing of, like, this is escalating. More and more monsters are going to appear, and, like... And that, like, the Rodan were trying to evolve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, like, r- like altering like, their evolution. Yeah, they're altering themselves to... For this environment. And, like, this wave, d- it didn't make it. <laughs> Which I actually... Um, I mean, I... I'm all about that idea because that lines. I mean, yeah. that fits in. Well, I mean, obviously fits in. It's almost like it was planned in the story. <laughs> like, it just it's yeah. kind of like those uh, those like learning machine learning things where it's like this. We're getting this wonky model of a dinosaur to try to walk. It keeps having to like <laughs> off its. It keeps just like falling dead before it gets it yeah. on like attempt ten thousand or whatever. Yeah, so, I mean, or watching you know a child learn to walk or whatever yeah <laughs> I, like, I like my ai model a bit better less uh <laughs> less sticky <laughs> like watching a baby giraffe because they learn to walk really quickly because they well get i would i would formed well yeah i'd fucking hope so dropping from like what two meters yeah kind of break that sack baby uh but yeah but i I, a i like this idea because it's like feels shin godzilla to me so any any anytime godzilla wants to keep being like shin godzilla i am down my like oh yeah yes no Uh, i i i'm still like i'm they have not uh they have not missed a step yet with any of these yeah. episodes, um, I mean, I I I feel the need to ask. I gotta know. You you peek ahead. You you dip into five. This time I held back. Oh, I finally I finally I was like I was like staring at the link. I'm like, no, <laughs> fucking hold, control yourself. Because <laughs> I definitely. Uh, went into this episode subtitled knowing Angerus was showing up at the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I'd, I'd done that the week before. And I was like and I'd had that I read that one comment that was like the next I think that was on that next episode that the next episode is also pretty technical. Mm-hmm. Uh so that was like okay, if it's if it's another technical episode I can wait. I can wait. I can wait. If it's going to be more, if they're, this is going to keep being the structure of like, our characters are still figuring stuff out and like mm-hmm. more and more is being slowly revealed, then yeah, I don't need to be is, a week ahead. It's okay. This is, uh, last time it was really more, I wanted to see more of, uh, uh, Titanosaurus or like that sea Godzilla monster. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I looked, watched this episode and then he wasn't even in it. So, oh yeah, they, then I was like, like okay, that bit at the beginning. Yeah, the they episode. pivoted to another. Except for like the beginning of this episode when the those fishermen are around. Yeah, but that's something different. That's a, like around them because that's like Godzilla colored sh- fish stuff. Of like, mm, I did it's, not. It's not. That. It. I thought it was the same. Bit. Well, it's 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 like black, whereas that thing was red. Okay. Um, so I don't know what that was at the beginning of this episode. I think it's something different. Okay. Also, that I thing was by a submarine, and this was a fish. I boat. mean, totally like, different. it's, you know, totally maybe there's different. two different ones. There could be any number of them around. I mean, one of them is... <laughs> Look, theoretically, Godzilla's gonna show up in one of these episodes eventually. <laughs> Although, I don't know. I Now I'm feeling like eventually those fucking bones are gonna come back to life, and that's gonna be Godzilla. I really don't fucking know at this point. I, mean, I feel like they're building up... I feel like this show is gonna be building up to Godzilla as, like, a different thing, maybe. Or, like, the the peak or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can Not see just, it. Because it's, it's set up these monsters as such, a, like, a, a stepping stone thing. Yeah. Something. 
I'm I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping. I mean, obviously, I want I want us to hit like full Godzilla at at some point. But I am hoping that before we we get to full Godzilla, we can experience Bone Godzilla, just bones walking True. around like Dry Bowser style. Mm -hmm. What a great. I mean, my addition. other theory is that those bones are going to become like a Mecha Godzilla. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I uh, I made my comparison, and now I just I'm thinking about uh, you know, like Go Go Godzilla Go Kart racing. <laughs> There's definitely enough characters for it. True. <laughs> I mean, there is Digimon kart racing. That exists. I, there's like a kart racing for everything. Why not? Why not uh, Godzilla? Not, and not Pokemon. There's no Pokemon. That's kart true. Racing. And there should be. I mean, they should be in Mario Kart. Eh. Look, Mario Kart should just be Smash, but with kart Mario racing. Mario Kart should just be. Yeah, it should just be like All Star Nintendo All Stars Kart Racing or whatever, whatever the yeah. hell they call it. Look, they put Link in it. Yeah, it's only no, a matter of time. Link Villagers. <laughs> yeah, my my. The only reason I'd want Pokemon Mercedes Benz cars, Merce Mercedes Benz DLC. Yeah, you know your <laughs> Nintendo favorites. <laughs> <laughs> just stupid as hell. Ugh. I just don't want, like, oh, they're putting Pokemon in Mario Kart. Like, okay, cool. Hey, Pikachu. Hey, Charizard. Pichu. Hey, Pichu. <laughs> hey, Greninja. What's up, guys? <laughs> it's, just, it's always the same one. Well, those are the most popular ones. Those cowards should give us Mr. Mime. I can't believe how popular Grin Ninja is. I don't. Yeah, he's that surprised me. <laughs> like when he was in that initial edition, I was like, I don't get it. And then I looked it up, and like apparently, especially in Japan, just like crazy. Yeah, like crazy popular. Yeah. Um, I also saw a thing earlier. Apparently, it's Godzilla's birthday today. Yes. Oh, Something. I had no idea. Yeah. There's like a little happy. Someone drew like a, I don't know, it was from some anime. So it's like an anime girl presenting Godzilla with a cake, and he was blushing. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did do those kicking segments on uh, that kids Godzilla show where they teach you the alphabet and math. Now I'm blanking on the name of that. Uh, 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 Godzilla Land. Godzilla Land. Godzilla Land. Yeah. Yeah. That one had animated segments and then live action segments, too. Yeah. Get going, Godzilla Land. Uh, yeah, yeah, not Godzilla Land. Godzilla Land. <laughs> Godzilla Land. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm... I'm thoroughly enjoying myself with this series. I also... Yeah. Getting more and more tempted. I mean, I'm running out of time. I'm still, uh, I'm still on my my bachelor week here while Anya is away. She doesn't like watching Godzilla movies yet, anyway. Mm. So might have to take this opportunity to sneak a couple in before she gets home. Mm. So many, so many, so many films that I want to fit in. So many things to do. Look, man, we could do those two Godzilla films we, ha we haven't watched. They're not good, but... <laughs> <laughs> there are two left that aren't those anime uh, ones. Kind of tempted. Yeah, that aren't the anime. I'm, I don't know if I'm going yeah. back to those ever. Oh, yeah, that's if, fine. If you ever One day watch, I will watch them. But I was going to say, if you ever do them up, I would, like, re-skim them, maybe. Yeah. But I'll, I'm not... I'm gonna do them. I'm, it's gonna happen. That's too. such a. I'm like, but uh, he's, he's so brave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a it's a tough ask. I don't even know. Like, it's not. It's not like it's a. Well, and, and you said before, like you're you're not great anymore at like watching a film and doing something else alongside it or whatever. But man. 
even then it's like i don't know just because it's subs and the subtitle and whatever else like it's not great for doing that to begin with and yep it's just it really would just drag down whatever else you're doing beside it <laughs> like, i don't want to be it, like yeah sure i'll put on a I, I, like, largely watched the King Kong movies while doing other things around the house and just had it on the TV. But I don't want to yeah, drain. Yeah. I don't, cleaning and cooking is already, like, kind of not fun sometimes enough. I don't want to drag it down with bad anime <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> they're just, they're, look, they're better things. Yeah, yeah. That's, like any other Godzilla thing. I was going to say, yeah, else. yeah, I think... Yeah, they're. I mean, like, original Godzilla anime, or not, not even anime. The '78 cartoon with Godzilla, that, like Hanna Barbera one. Yeah, not great, <laughs> but still better. <laughs> yeah. Because at least I could tailor that to like twenty minute segments or whatever, instead of like yeah, yeah. two and a half hours. And you got that theme song. The theme song. That theme song, though. Bum, bum, yeah. bum. Look, they bum, push bum, the button bum, bum. and Godzilla shows up. That's pretty good. <laughs> that show sucks, though. <laughs> it's bad. I did get some good clip. I need to. I need to reclip one of the things because uh, I had that little like my personal reaction for like some of the Godzilla films or whatever, and it was like the main. I forget the main dude like the main adult guy or whatever and he's like in a plane uh -huh. and he's like pressing the the communications button and he's like hank hank i'm going down help <laughs> or something <laughs> i'm like yo it's me whenever i'm whenever i'm in the you know like the 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 death metal or black metal whatever like yeah. that comic thing like that was me reading <laughs> like hey mm -hmm. help bam I think the, yeah, problem is like the beer of the sea monster. I think Godzilla doesn't show him up in that one for like the first hour. I think it's like literally an hour without Godzilla. I mean, in a Godzilla movie. That's not great, but like I've already warmed up with the with Daimajin. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. If you're watching Daimajin, like that's kind of why I'm like we have to watch these other ones. If you're if you're going that deep. I do, okay. Like anything in, with a big thing. In my defense, in my defense, I did not know that he doesn't show up that long, like until that deep in the movie, like the last ten minutes or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I mean, to an extent, I'm trying to go into these a little bit blind, you know. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to spoil it, but. And I mean, it was fine. Like now that I know that's what it is, like I think that movie was fine anyway. It's nothing like stellar, but it's. I don't know. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Sure. You just—it's definitely it's, not like it's just different. Yeah, it's yeah. not a—it's not a kaiju film, really. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the? Uh, have you seen much or any of the '98 cartoon? Yeah, yeah, I watched it. I mean, I was watching it at the time when it was okay. airing. I haven't. I haven't. I need to get back to it because I. I started it, but uh, mm -hmm. it seems decent. It seems. It seems like, a, good. Like it seems. Like yeah, it's a better, okay. It seems like a better take on that shit than than the '98 movie. Oh, totally. It is weird that like the characters. Those characters are the characters from the movie, but they're, like, super different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just kept the appearance. Like our, our Master Roderick, whatever, analog, is, like, a completely different human being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks completely different. He acts completely different. So that, that part's funny. But I And, and it's funny that it is still kind of like the Hanna-Barbera one in that they have their own, like, pet Godzilla that they summon to fight the monsters yeah it's still that structure i don't know see i don't even know i don't even know that i got to that point like i could tell it was getting there but i think there were i was i like i started and then it uh i i fizzled kind of early on it 
I think. Yeah, I because I'm not no like the first episode. It's like literally picking up with the the like teaser shot at the end of the movie where there's like an one egg they missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they eventually find that and then find that Godzilla and then make friends with him or whatever. Yeah, it's a TV show. <laughs> Yeah, and the only episode of it I remember, I think it might be even multiple parts, but, like, there's an episode where there are aliens that, like, <laughs> resurrect the Godzilla from the movie as, like, a android. He's got, like, robot bits in him. Oh, hell yeah. Or her. I guess her. Her, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Um, So they bring back movie Godzilla. Which is such a cool idea, except that, like, those monsters aren't that godzilla yeah, they're more godzilla in that show though because they have uh their breath their atomic breath is more like atomic breath and not like a weird wind tunnel then then there's fire which is like the one moment in that movie where that happens <laughs> okay yeah i mean that'll I, I, it's like everything else i've yeah i gotta i mean like it's okay so... but it kind of doesn't hit the the spot well, yeah i'd say but as uh as someone who as a thing to have on in the background yeah as someone who can multitask or like uh, uh maybe maybe even more so like uh like scooby-doo for example right the mystery mm-hmm. incorporated i i might watch that while i'm maybe like browsing like the internet or like maybe doing like photo editing stuff because I can, I can definitely then like at any moment I can pivot more attention to the show. Uh, yeah, something like Godzilla, I would probably toss that on while I'm playing Isaac. It's like mm-hmm. I just want to cat. I I want to like absorb it. I don't need to pay really much attention. Yeah, I get it. Like the like the <laughs> limit of like I need something that's actually not good. <laughs> it's like yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I, actually that I'm not actually interested in or whatever. That's that's I understand problem, that feeling. Dude. Yeah, like I need definitely. Yeah, I tried it with. I mean, that was like my second go through on the office. That was mm-hmm. too bad. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't do it. No, I ended up like rewatching old YouTube stuff. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that I've seen before. That's like where I am. <laughs> For some reason, like scripted stuff, I just it's just like in my head that I care about it too much. Basically, mm-hmm. like even if it's bad. I don't know. But when I like evaluate it, where it's like this old StarCraft tournament, it's just enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's slightly tragic because one of the people in it died. Oh. Shortly after. Yeah. It's still a good time, though. I, uh, uh, I've thought about going like. And I guess it's not really a double dip. I don't know. I've thought about going full Isaac and just watching some of uh, the new, like, Northern Lions, new Isaac stuff while playing Isaac. Mm-hmm. It's a bit much. <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's what I do. I would When I was playing Hots, I would watch, like, Chew 8 play Hots. While you're playing Hots. I, I mean, while I'm playing Hots, yeah. All that, and that's kind of why I've been playing Hots again is because he's been streaming that again. Yeah, I have been. I, I've... I'm still subscribed. I haven't watched much of it, but it's like the, what is the the, the HHL league thing? Heroes Hearth something. Yeah, I still Heroes haven't watched Hearth. any of that. I've I've checked out some of it. I mean, I also like you you playing Heroes and watching Heroes. That makes sense, uh, considering I've I have been by your side as you played Heroes and also played Magic. <laughs> That's harder. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> uh, even playing Magic like while playing Hearthstone is a little tricky. We've done that too. Yeah, yeah. What about if you could if you could swing it somehow? I'm sure you could but i don't know how you would go about it what about playing like multiple games of magic at once like if i were playing i would assume magic it would on arena with magic and magic on 
online MPGO. I was, I was kind of thinking like two instances of Arena. It would probably have to be separate. Two instances accounts. of Arena would be easier because yeah. Magic Online is kind of a pain. I mean, yeah, that's why. <laughs> it I'm also, it would it. also matter what like it would be kind of deck dependent. Yeah, yeah. I could do it, but it, I like, yeah. There, I wouldn't do it with certain decks. I would say. And yeah, like at a certain sense. point, it's like a little. It's a little much. It's a little much. Mm-hmm. But what if you want to play mono red aggro and the and you know blue white control? You can't just you can't choose now. You don't have to. <laughs> True. I kind of don't want to do either of those right now. But I mean, yeah. Well, <laughs> my knowledge of the meta is both outdated and also those are obvious archetypes. It's all about s- emergent ultimatum and other things. Well, call me when slivers are back on the menu. Okay. If they're ever back on the menu. I think they were in modern. Yeah. They were playable again. Yeah, I made a I made a little paper cutout proxy deck to play against Jeremy. It was fun. No, I mean yeah. like recently. Oh, like hella recently. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I was modern. That also Not still pioneer. That still also kind of makes sense. Like I know there was. Hmm. I don't think it, like they ever got super high up, but there was some dude who was like consistently running slivers, and he was kind of like. I mean, a, a few different people were, but I don't, there was something in his deck, and he was doing consistently well. Like, mm-hmm. top, maybe, like, top certain... I don't know. He was doing well. And I tried it out. Sure. It was my first time using... Uh, oh, what the hell is the creature tech? It's a jar or a scepter. Or Aether vial? A, a vial, yeah, that's it. Aether vial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know there was collected company there. There was also some sort of Damn. apparatus for getting shit out. Yeah. Yeah. One of that those cards a... that's still not on Arena, but is, yeah. like, super important to those those Old. creature decks. low yeah. matter creature decks in older formats. Yeah, yeah. Another broken Mirrodin card or whatever. <laughs> Mirrodin block, I think. I don't, I don't think it was an actual Mirrodin. I don't remember. I'm I'm all about it. I'm all about creature decks. Winota, dude. Winota. I'm all about... Well, I'm all... Okay, fine. Fine, I'll say it. I'm all about bad creature decks. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid I... Yeah. I find Except a Except then you that... lose and you get mad. To be fair, I get mad when I lose I'd... even if I'm playing an amazing deck. Yeah, 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 I don't know what it is. That's fair. I keep thinking because, like, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I know that I shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a, it's no, such a, you. it's such a different kind of anger than like if I'm getting absolutely shit on and like in FPS or like in in Heroes or something. It's so different. I don't know why. But like in magic, I just I, it's it's like I'm so close to not being mad, but then I am, and that makes me more mm. mad <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Weird, because I don't I don't get mad playing magic. Yeah, I which get, is when I was playing like draft on MTGO, like where like I had to win so I could draft more because I didn't have the buddy to keep just drafting yeah because you had to, like every draft you were paying money basically um i would get tilted where like if i lost i was like ah gotta do it again <laughs> <laughs> or whatever like the like gambler's fallacy of like doubling down or whatever yeah um and then and like and like play worse also on top oh, of that oh d- dude of course yeah 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 mm-hmm. um, like that would happen but that's a whole different thing. I never like. I don't like get mad See, that way. 
And like, I I think the the funniest part of it all. Like, I recognize that it's ridiculous. I just tried to remove my. It also doesn't help that I have like no decks. And even the last time I was yeah. playing. Oh I, well, yeah. I'll say there was there is a kind of frustration when when I would play like constructed, but I didn't have. I was playing budget decks and didn't have the good cards. That there yeah. is a like a like oh I'm so fucking sick of Umasawa's GTA. Like that would happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but on arena, I just buy every. <laughs> I, I can buy play every deck. Yeah, um, I am at a point. Like I can't buy every jank deck I want. <laughs> See, because yeah. like at some point there are like just too many rares at this point. Yeah, to do it day one, but See, I, I can f- mostly do what I want to do. I think it's because like. I'm just or, not, I'm not playing enough, maybe. Yeah, 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 like, I'm dead, I know I'm gonna play, so I can justify doing it. Yeah. So I can, and I know that my fun is tied to being able to deck switch when I need to. Yeah. Um, so that's see, why I can commit to it. And see, like, the, like the last time, right? I, I was gonna try to just do... Like, I, I mean, specifically just trying to get, like, a few of my quests done or whatever. And yeah. I realized I didn't have, and this was before Strixhaven, yeah. Um, I didn't have any decks built. And I, or I, maybe I completed the quest or whatever, but I wanted to, like, try to get at least, like, one or two daily wins. And the only uh-huh. deck that I had that I knew had act, like could actually win now and again if not if only by surprise was my stupid rainbow shrines deck. Yeah. That deck either win or lose, it's going to be a fucking drag. It takes forever. And I just yeah. yeah, I don't know. Even but even normally like I still get I I just find it funny because like you pretty much only play ranked, right? Like you're playing mostly ranked if I recall. Sometimes I just want to get a quest done, and I'll do play. Yeah. Or, or if I really think a deck is bad, and, <laughs> and I'm like, I just need to know. But I do mostly just play ranked, yeah. Yeah. And see, I'm out here. I play, like, unranked almost exclusively, and I lose, like, once. And I'm like, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> Don't know. I mean, I, I have that in that, like... Uh, if I'm testing, like, some, I see a deck on the internet, and I'll play, like, three games, and I'll win two and then lose one, I'm like, nope, this deck's trash. I'm done. <laughs> Different deck. But I, it's not it's not mad. I just, like, I'm done with this. Moving on. Yeah. Next thing. And it's, like, and that's based on, like, feel. Like, oh, I don't like how this works. Mm-hmm. So I don't like this deck, so I can move on to an- another deck kind of thing. Like, I never get stuck in the hole of, like, Oh, I just I can't beat this strategy. I don't know how to solve it. I'm like, all right, just okay. Then I, I'm clear that I don't have the right deck. What's the deck that beats that thing, or if that's what I'm seeing, or whatever? Yeah, it 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 like the the meta is like a puzzle that I'm just working, moving on to the next thing, the thing that is working in this moment. I don't mm-hmm. see it as like this is definitely the good thing that always will work. No, I'm looking for the the angle. Yeah. And see, I mean, maybe that's like part of. It. I mean, maybe we'll we'll get there eventually. It just needs to grow a bit. But like, even with the like the the sliver deck that I that I was uh, play testing for for modern, like I don't know that. I mean, it was set to kind of hold on for a while. You know, like all these modern decks had kind of been around for. Or not all of them, but you know there was a core. That's, there was a core. There thing. was a time when that was true with modern, but yeah, because no, of the new I know, now it's all reset fucked up. magic, it's not. Yeah, no, not they true. they tore that away, and I'm like, honestly, that's what I like. That's what I want for arena, and I know it's like impossible. Like I had these decks that I enjoyed playing, and now they are actual garbage. If I were to take them out into into historic, like yeah. I want to design i want to be able to design a deck 
and play that deck. And it doesn't have to be like top tier or anything, but I want to be able to come back in like four months when I want to play again and not have to worry about like absolutely every card in that deck being irrelevant. Except for the basic lands. Yeah. Whereas someone like me who plays all the time, I'm glad the meta changes. <laughs> oh yeah, oh no, hundred percent. But yet you're you're not wrong in that like, you, it's a totally different approach, and it's one that's like pushes me away definitely from actually ha- wanting to build physical decks. Um, because they because change like, so fast. You have to be yeah yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. not it's not a thing that I can build and then like I have this. Like, no, you, if you're building it, you have to be building it for a purpose to play at a specific time. Yeah. Cause you might never be able to play it again after that. Mm-hmm. And see, um, I, like, so coming to terms with that has been useful for me The like just accepting that that's just the way it is. Oh yeah. I'd say is more healthy. And see, I just than, remember like, when staring I... at these decks and saying like, Oh, I'd just love to just have that. Yeah. Like, no. See, I still, I mean, I I guess maybe just because of when I was more involved, like when I started playing regularly and like drafting a ton and went to the one tournament, not to play, but just to be there and all that Mm -hmm. shit, like that was still very, I still remember like people telling me when, you know, we were learning the, me and Jeremy were learning the ins and outs and they were like, so if you're going to play standard, it's nice, it's okay to start out in. But if you're if you're like looking at the best value financially, like the older you go, the more stable everything is. So they were like, maybe if you know if you get good, you like it, you're 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 sure that you're gonna stay with this game. Like maybe modern will will be a better thing for you, if you if you want something that you can like buy once and you'll just have this deck at least for a good long while, and yeah. like that's still what I think of. And it's now I still remember reading the, you know, the reports and, and posts and everything else about, like, why the fuck would I pay so much for a modern deck when Wizards is going to release a set in three months that makes it completely irrelevant? Yeah. It was like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long ago that was. Is that still the case? Like, is modern still just rapidly kind of changing with each new release or is it slowed down a little? Like, if I built a deck. No, right modern, now, like, talk. Here's here's the the canary in the coal mine for modern. Is Tarmogorf playable? Tarmogorf is playable again. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah! See that's the that's the good shit. When everybody was talking about all this new bullshit, and I'm like, okay, I don't know any of these things. Tarmogorf, there we go. Yeah, yeah. See, I still think of Tarmogorf as the new bullshit, though. Yeah, sure. Because I remember when they printed that card and it was super expensive immediately. And I'm like, fuck is this shit? This is just better than everything else. Fuck this card. I honestly have like that as <laughs> like modern is still too new to me, even though it's like so old at this point. Yeah. Um. So I just have that weird perspective of like this thing people have nostalgia for. I still think of as like. Yeah, but this was, like, the change from the way it used to be. Like, before, like, it used to just be extended, which was just standard but longer. Mm-hmm. And then they it would still have rotation. It was just, like, more years out or whatever. And then Magic Online at one point introduced Modern, which, like, and it took off. It's just, like, an experiment or whatever. Yeah. Um... So I still think of like extended as like, and because like extend that's like a healthier way for a format to exist. Like there's something about modern that just felt, I don't know, I don't know. Either you play with all the cards or you don't. Either you play vintage <laughs> or you play standard. There's no in between. Like I kind of, I don't, I don't actually feel that way, but. There's a part of me that's like definitely treads towards preferring that, but I, I mean I like uh, historic because that's playable on <laughs> yeah, you have yeah to play yeah. with old cards on arena, so that's I do like that. And I I don't know I I'm I'm still quite hopeful, and I think 
I, I feel like it is actually coming at some point that they will they'll make historic brawl an actual thing you can queue into. Like that would that would pull me back. I feel like that's it, fair. I, I mean, first it allows for more of the like kind of less than ideal bullshit that I enjoy, but also like I just have a I have a better sense for for building those decks. Like even oh, even man, you just gotta build commander decks on MTGO, and then you can play uh, yeah. commander against randoms. You can have that joy. I don't want that. I don't <laughs> think joy is the correct word. <laughs> Brawl is for when only one friend is available, or if I'm playing against randos. Commander is for friend friends only. Yeah, uh, no randos. Please. I don't know. I I I do kind of think like. If, even if they made Historic Brawl a permanent thing, like I'm not, I'm not gonna play in Singleton against randos. Isn't isn't that fun? I like playing sing, I like playing Brawl like against a friend because it's a yeah. casual format. But I don't know that I'm like gotta gotta boot up the queue again. I just like I, I wouldn't be nearly as as ready for it if there wasn't like if you're not around and I just have a fresh deck idea. I'm yeah, not yeah, testing yeah. that deck unless I actively seek someone out, and there's no way in hell that's happening. Yeah, that's I refuse fair. to join a Discord and be like, hey, guys, who wants to play, bro? You just got a goldfish. But, I, like, in, uh, like, like, on a deck builder site or something? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to make the deck again on the site. Uh, uh, uh. You just export. You just hit export. Oh, import text. It's so much. I, oh. my delicate <laughs> fingers. <laughs> it's no work. But whatever. We've talked about magic for like thirty minutes on this Godzilla podcast. I think that. I think we can call it. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was nice though. Uh, the other thing I, I just wanted to say is that idea of um, like an enemy that's like rapidly evolving to your environment. That is uh, Invincible Season 1 also does that idea. Oh, that's right. I need to, I need to download those. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good example of that. Of that Hell thing. yeah. Hell yeah. I'm but they about, do it like... It. Epi- I think they could finish it off in Episode 1 of that show. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's still... Or maybe Episode 2. It's still a remember. fun time. Or 3... Maybe it's by three. I don't know. I, w- I watched those first three episodes. They those first three came out all at once, so they kind of blend together at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it was more drawn out when I read it in the comic. It was more oh yeah, stretched out thing. Yeah. Even yeah. though I did, I did also read that comic like all at once. But anyway, Salt Circle Podcast Gmail dot com. Salt Circle Pod on Twitter. Anchor, Apple, Salt Circle Podcast, Google Podcasts. I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. I'm not on Twitter. Boom. Nice. Good choice. <laughs> I've been a lot happier since not being on Twitter. I'll say that much. That's what a, fair. What a salty platform. I need Twitter salty. for cat pics. And there are so many other ways to get cat pics. <laughs> there are there so are. many other ways. I need it for NBA news. That's more relevant. That's that's <laughs> like more relevant. Every a... sports writer actually tweets out everything. They don't, yeah, yeah. They don't write things on websites anymore. That's fair. 